Well, this is it. We have reached the final week of the regular season. Welcome on into Friday Night Football. I'm KTV Sports Director Jay Test. You know, two years ago, the SIC thought of this great idea. Cross divisional games in the ninth week of the season with the top two teams from each division playing for the 5A SIC championship. Before we even played a single down this season, it seemed inevitable that Mountain View and Rocky Mountain were going to collide twice this season. Once in the regular season, then again tonight in that 5A SIC title bout. Yeah, what stands out about them is, is they've always got great athletes at, at every spot and they're always well coached. You know, they just have a, a great coaching staff. Coach Keelig and his crew, they do a, do a fantastic job. You know, they're extremely well coached. Uh, Coach Bag really does a really good job. Their, their O-line, D-line are solid. They're physical. Um, and then they complement it really well. They, they do a good job of taking advantage of their guys' skill sets. You know, their backers are short and fast and pretty athletic. Ours are long and um, fairly athletic. So I think it's a good, it's going to be a good battle in the trenches between the, you know, the D lines and O lines and our, and our linebackers. So I'm looking forward to that. Yep, we're all looking forward to it. Such great respect, by the way, between these two programs. We have lucked out all season with Mother Nature. Tonight, though, football weather was in the forecast. A packed house over at Mountain View. We pick it up in the second. The Mavs leading 7-6. to six. Rocky started with the ball in the third quarter, but they cough it up. That's Max Miley that falls on it. He's the son of Boise State defensive line coach Frank Miley. Being good at football clearly runs in the family. Going the other way, the Mavs come up empty on offense. That is until fourth down. Dawson Wall throws it up to Dominic Sotomayor, and he's like, go up and get it, buddy. That keeps the drive alive. Down inside the red zone, Brian Compton goes to his bag of tricks and gets a little bit of a treat. Grayson Flatten goes out just inside the one-yard line. Where are you going to get closer to the action, by the way, than right here on Friday Night Football? Unreal. From there, Nail, I'd like you to meet the hammer. Quintez Evans goes back to work. He was going to work all night. In fact, mom and pops, if you're listening, I think that he should be free of all chores for the weekend. That made it 14 to six. On the ensuing drive, Rocky experiences a little deja vu or maybe call it a nightmare. Ian Perkins falls on it, and just in case there was any confusion, Jack Beck, uh, Jackson Beck lets everybody know it's Mountain View ball. The Mavs immediately go on the, the attack. On the first play, Wall dials it up to Flatten, who finally gets flattened right around the six-yard line. Three plays later on fourth and goal at the one. Hey, how about Rocky rising up to get a big stop? All of a sudden, they benefit from one of those game-changing plays. Unfortunately, momentum was just not their friend tonight, and Judd Benedict had all the answers. The Grizz failed to get a first down. They line up the punt, and it just goes poorly. The rush rattles the punter. Another Mountain View uh, score here. This one a safety. That made it 19-6 with about 90 seconds to go in the third. On to the fourth. Rocky Mountain starts to get on a roll. They get back-to-back -back first downs, but then this happens. Kai Ackley steps in front of a Tegan Sweeney pass and picks it off. That happened just moments after the junior just got onto the field. A really special memory for him. The Mavs will then go back to their bell cow. Evans hits pay dirt for a third time. You know what? The view from this mountain is so good that you can see the 5A SIC Championship trophy with the Mavs name on it. They win the night 26 to 6, the final.